Hey everybody, welcome back to the T-Timo Tactical Channel. Um, I'm gonna be zeroing in my brand new HK SV5. I've had this for about a month now, and as soon as I picked it up, I submitted a tax stamp for it because, come on, let's not fuck around with braces. We need the real deal stock on here. So, um, first time trying it out. Let's take some shots, let's zero this in. Very complicated from an AR-15 zeroing procedure, but um, we can do it. Got my instructions right here. And, uh, yeah, let's take some shots. Lock the bolt back. Check the bag, click, and... We'll zero the irons first and then we'll move on to the aim point. Shots don't look like they're too far off. I'll take you down range, scope it out. So we're not too far off. Just need to go over to the left and up. I think we should be good. I won't bore you with the steering procedure, so I'll tune back in when everything is all zeroed in. All right, guys, welcome back to the TTMO Tactical Channel. Um, we got everything zeroed in, which is great. It's a little cold outside, so I bundled up. I got my plate here to keep me warm. So, I'm going to shoot a few rounds with the uh, HK SP5 um, right now. Let's just do a quick overview of what I got on it. So, HK SP5, I picked this up last month. I don't even know what to say. Dude. I'm in I'm in awe of how awesome this gun is. So let's start from the back to the front. We have a BNT folding brace. Gotta keep it handy. I change out the uh, rear sight to a German drum sight because the uh, one that it came with is just a castle sight, which is not very great for um, shooting. But this stays true to the original MP5 style. I have a uh, MFI ultra low mount and then an Aimpoint T2 on the Scalar Works absolute co witness mount. The one third is a little bit too high, basically a chin weld, but this one is not too bad. Um, 9 2 to our compliance and all that bullshit. I have a uh, US made hammer, sear, trigger, and the uh, housing. I also have a US handguard and a US cocking handle. So that's already at six. So I can run German mags anytime I want. It comes with a threaded muzzle protector and a trilog. So I need to get a suppressor eventually. So right now we're gonna try a few mags. Um, as we all know that the German mags work perfect but they have a bunch of aftermarket mags. I have one here AC was it AC Unity and the ETS mag and two KCI mags. Um, don't mind the tape. If you've seen Die Hard, you know exactly what the fuck is up. So let's just take a few shots. I hope you can see this. I have a steel target down range about 30 yards.
everything functioned flawlessly. That's fucking great. Stand by. All right, play carrier. It's a little hard to shoot with the MP5, so um, just run it a little bit slick. But the best part of having an SBR um, e-filing took about a month, which is great because my first SBR took about four months on paper. So thank God for that. Um, oh yeah, the best part of having SBR is you can run a foregrip, vertical foregrip on your PCC. So I have the BNT Tri-Rail here with the Knight's Armament Grip. Um, you know, it, it just looks a little bit more tactical. But it's all about looks, right? So I have my uh, Gucci Hype B sling here. It's a Vero Concept sling, sling sir in multi cam black. I purchased this before it got too hypey. So I am a hipster. Just kidding. So we're still testing out the mags. Um, I have about 10 German mags. I started buying up all that I could find when I found this handgun. I mean, sorry this SP5. So I have about 10 of these. It came with a 230 round magazine, which is great. Um, I bought an ETS mag just to try it out. This is like 20 bucks. Um, so far it hasn't been giving me any issues, which is great. I heard a lot of bad things about ETS mags. But however, this one is a little bit sticky inside the mag well. I'll show you here. It just doesn't go in as smooth. Oh, well, taking out a bit of a struggle but going in it's not so bad I also have an AC unity mag here which I picked up this was 20 to 20 bucks I think this was about thirty dollars this is about 20 bucks um, I picked this up at art Robert RTG um, it's great it's pretty cheap but the problem is when I first bought it it would not go inside the mag well at all easily at least um, so what I had to do is I took a Dremel to it to the what do they call it they called it they called it like a something pad a fat pad I don't know but it was in the way so I grinded it down and now it feeds a lot easier and smoother which is great but will I buy these again probably not if I had to file this down every time and then I have two KCI mags here that I bought um, I really want these to work just because, you know, one mag is like 35 bucks and one German mag is $80 or, you know, sometimes $75, $70 if you can find it at that price, but they go really quickly. So, you know, for the price of a KCI mag, you can buy two for the price of one German mag. So far, it hasn't been giving me any troubles. Um, you know, it feels just like a German mag. You probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference if I gave them to you. So. Let's just give it a couple more shots. Try out the registered SBR HK SP5. Try the ETS mag. I hope this claw mount is keeping it zero. pretty well so uh yeah short little range trip just wanted to uh, finally shoot the sp5 after having it for an entire month and not shooting it that was agonizing as hell i'm just waiting every day for an attack stamp to come through so
Chris. Holy shit, I'm tired. Not bad. Not bad at all. HKSP5. Best purchase I've ever fucking made. Whew. Theaters in, folks. 